so page 282, section review number three. And what you're going to do is you're going to figure out the net torque due to all the forces acting on this object. So again, there is a picture for section review number three. I'll be drawing it on the board in a moment. And you're just figuring out the net torque. And I'm going to let you guys work on it on your own for a little bit here. Um, there you go. I'll draw a picture on the board. Oh, from left to right. The, I'm going to label the forces force one, force two, and force three. And it may not be entirely clear, but I believe there's like a point O or something in the picture, and that is on the far left, and that is the axis of rotation. So the axis of rotation is right here. All right. So we have three different torques. Basically, we need to identify the force, the lever arm, and the angle for each one. <clears throat> uh, let's start with Carlone, force one. Um, there you go. 30 newtons. Lever arm one? Um, zero. Zero. Lever arm one is zero. You'll notice that the force is, force one is applied at the axis of rotation. And therefore, the torque is clearly zero, right? Because zero times anything is zero. But I want to take a moment and talk about the angle for uh, for torque one. What is the angle for torque one, Carlo? Um, it's actually not forty-five. Angle for uh, torque one. Nick. It's also not one thirty-five. Danaher. Also not zero. I love this game. It's fun. <coughs> Bless you. Hedler? Also not 180 degrees. Kraus? Also not 225. This, I think we are, this is great. Jen? Is there no angle? There is no angle. It's undefined. Okay? We're talking about the angle between the force and the lever arm. If the lever arm doesn't exist, there can't be an angle. So we have no idea how to identify theta 1. It's undefined. So I can just put sine of theta 1 because it doesn't matter what it is. But it's important to realize that, that is actually not defined because there is no lever arm 1. Lily. Uh, force 2? Um, 25. Lever arm 2. 2 meters and the sine of theta 2. How'd you get 121? Uh, so 90 plus the 31. I'm going to put 90 plus 31 just to be clear, but yes, 121 degrees. Notice that the lever arm is right here. Therefore, we need to add 90 degrees to our 31 degrees. We get the torque due to force 2, please. 42.858, and that's in Newton meters. Great. The torque due to force Three, uh, Jessica, can you please give me all the numbers for the torque due to force three? So force three. Um, okay, so ten times. Lever. Arm. Four point zero. Great. Times the sine of. Uh, times. Um, sine one fifteen. How'd you get one fifteen? Uh, I added. Ah, but it's not going to be 90 plus 25 in this particular case. What is it going to be, Dan? Oh, it's going to be 90 minus 25. Uh, 90 minus 25, also not correct, unfortunately. Look. 180 minus 25. 180 minus 25, which would be this angle right here. 180 minus 25 class is? 155. Or, truth be told, we could just use the 25 degrees. They will give us the same answer. So it doesn't really matter which one you use in that particular case. Um, there you go. So we need now the torque due to force three. 60.9047. 60? 60. 60. What? Did you say 60? 60. Okay, 16.90. Is it supposed to be 23 degrees? Did I get that right down? Yeah. I apologize. It's 23 degrees. Thank you. <laughs> so then 
157 or 23 degrees. And what's the number then? 3696 Newton meters. So in order to figure out the net torque, all we do is go through and add all of those together. I'm sorry, if I take 42.858 and add 15.3696 to it, I do not get that number. Ah, you have to remember direction. You got to use the right hand. So take a moment, use your right hand, figure out positives and negatives for your various torques. Uh, torque due to force one clearly is just zero, so what about torque due to force two? Um, Where do we start? It's into the board. Where, where do we start? Oh, um, you, like, just take your hand, induction of the lever. True, but we have to start somewhere. Where, where do we start, Christy? You gotta start at the axial rotation, then we go along the lever. I agree with that. Okay. Um, and then you uh, throw your fingers in the force applied. Direction of the force, in this particular case, force two, out of the board, which is? Uh, out of the board, um, positive. Positive. And we do the same thing for the torque due to force three. We get, uh, we curl our fingers down, which puts our thumb into the board, which is negative. So we have positive for the 42.8 and negative for the 15.3, <coughs> etc. Therefore, the net torque, Riku, was? 27.229. 229 with sig figs means 27 Newton meters, and that is positive. Which means, essentially, we have three people all pushing on the same door, trying to cause it to open or close or whatever they're trying to do. Clearly, the individual who has force three is very strong, they're not very smart because they're pushing on the axis of rotation itself. <laughs> the other two are pushing at various different you know, distances, etc. And in the end, the net torque is going to be that this object is going to rotate or accelerate, is going to angularly accelerate in this direction, which we've identified as out of the 